Here we're talking about project-based learning. And if you're in this class, you're already familiar with project-based learning because this entire class is project-based learning. We've built it on that foundation. Project-based learning is a pedagogical technique where students learn through big long-term projects, sometimes somewhat open-ended, as opposed to through small written assignments or quizzes or tests. There are a lot of real benefits to project-based learning. And one of my favorites is the idea of authenticity. Typically, when we go into the actual fields that we're teaching about, what we're, our work is is actually pretty project-based. We do big long-term projects rather than small tasks each day. And so by teaching students using project-based learning, we're not only teaching them the content we want them to know, but we're also teaching them what it's like to actually be a part of that field. And similarly, personalization is a really big benefit of this as well. Typically, when students do a project, they actually feel some personal connection to what they produced. In some of the projects we've done in our other OMS classes, we've seen students really develop their projects and pursue them after the semester is over. Some of them have gone so far as to name their projects or give them personalities. So there's really a personal connection between the student and the project that they develop. The longer term and more open-ended nature of the project also means that we can do some things to facilitate real learning and the more important learning strategies that we want students to develop. Things like planning what they're going to do, monitoring how it's going, and adjusting it accordingly if it's not going very well. Oftentimes in traditional education, by the time a student recognizes that what they're doing isn't working, it might be too late to fix it if it's a test or a quiz or something. But with projects, the longer term nature of them gives students time to recognize what I've been working on isn't really working. How can I evaluate it? How can I recover? So there are a lot of benefits of project-based learning. The difficulty is that they aren't always easy to implement in a regular classroom. Projects are bigger and they're open-ended and they're very personal to students and that makes it very difficult to give students feedback on them. It makes it difficult to grade projects. How do you grade two students that did very, very different projects if it's a very open-ended project? It presents a lot of difficulty. But that's where technology can really play a role. Technology gives us an environment in which we can allow students to pursue some open-ended projects and have built-in functionalities to develop their ideas and construct whatever they want to construct. And through some artificial intelligence, we can actually start to build in some of that feedback directly into the environment. We can give them feedback right in the context of what they're doing without requiring a teacher to be consistently monitoring what they're doing. So technology can really bring project-based learning to life. And so we'll talk about the different ways in which project-based learning can be done and how technology can help.